What are we doing now? Working on nukes. Working on nukes. Smoker is not yet very good, is it? Should get going all day. Leave the top out for a minute. That generally gets them going. It's so doggone humid. It's only about 80 degrees, 82 or something. Humid though. Still not drawing it out. And we're gonna help with that. I ain't drawing nothing. Okay. These are kind of behind. They would have uh, been farther ahead, but only like half of them, half the swarm cells had. So. They're a little behind, but they're doing good now. That's the end frame there. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful fruit pattern right there. It's got pollen, larva, sealed brood. And capped that one for some reason. That's what them VHS bees do. And cap. Like that. Another brood frame. It's hatching out. These bees are making. That's brood. More brood, hatching brood. Yeah, that's all larva in there. Yeah. The other one's just a food frame. That's the original food frame I gave them. Just a food frame. Mm -hmm. Got pollen in it. I'm gonna put that upstairs. Kind of looks like a three pound package in there. Got that app bar in there. Some of these feeders I Trying this hardware cloth, you fold it and put it in there. I've seen that on that Jake Moore. He's a professional beekeeper in Texas. He's on YouTube. He's got some pretty good tips. He moves a lot of bees. He got a lot of bees. His dad's a senator or something. I put a teaspoon of bleach in each gallon. Just a small amount, just in case. I don't know how fast they're gonna take this down, but just in case I wanted to I don't want it to ferment. Like that, that should help them draw it out, you know. Now let's put this 
food frame on the end. They were supposed to have eaten that and filled it for the brood, but they did not do it. The other side's a pretty, pretty much the same thing. Maybe a little bit smaller. App bar hasn't been in there very long. Got a partially drawn. Yeah, these are smaller. Yeah, they're smaller. Not for long though, they got plenty of brood. going to do is I'm going to equalize them. I'm giving this frame a brood and larva. That should make them pretty equal. These are just one gallon feeders. I'm only going to go about three quarters full on that one. Yeah, I feel like I'm moving in slow motion today. These nukes are a little bit too long, so you gotta like straddle it. I didn't notice that when I was putting them together. I just assumed they cut the right length, but other than that, they're really, really good boxes. I love these boxes. I don't know what they're made of. Man, they're still like brand new. Alrighty. So, hopefully, I get to work here and draw and see what I want them to do. Get that all drawn out. Before the goldenrod hits, and then, and then we'll uh, they already have it drawn, and then, and then they can uh, fill it with goldenrod and give them a head start. You know, plus it'll stimulate them. That's it's a light syrup, it's not a heavy syrup. It's like nectar. And, <laughs> Smoker doesn't want to go. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot that. Oh, no. I'm sticking it there. I'll be in there in a couple of days. Okay, so the bees are working up here. It's 
So that's a good sign. There is quite a bit of nectar coming in. But I think a lot of those bees are busy taking care of brood. These are actually drawn cone here. Smaller population. Yeah. I want these to build up. Yeah, these are kind of small. This one is. Oh, it's got a medium frame. Okay. It's got like a partial frames of brood. They probably need to be fed. I think this is going to turn them around. That one looks pretty dry. I'm not seeing any honey in there. You get one like this, they'll abscond on you because they ain't got no food. I like to give them a honey frame. This will do. What's this side doing? Maybe we can get a frame of brood out of this. A little bit bigger. They eat the food frame. See, this one worked. They're supposed to eat the food frame and fill it full of brood. <laughs> they did, see? Oh, all brood. Look at all that beautiful pollen in there. Beautiful yellow pollen. That's how it's supposed to work. They're supposed to fill it full of brood and larva. They got a nice honey frame. Maybe I'll move this. No, I'll leave it down here. Oh, I kind of like them to eat that honey, though. Yeah. We'll put these down. Put these upstairs. I'll get this frame down here. And I'll it up. You gotta be careful not to get things mixed up. You end up putting the queen in the wrong side, and then come back and be like, what? Side, right? <laughs> I hope so. Nice having that three quarter divider board, a lot easier to work with, that's for sure. Okay, I got that food frame. I'm gonna move it up here. Well, that one's all full of nectar. Not shaking though. They must be drying it down, eh? Yeah, we got a little bit of. Man, we got brood up here. Huh. That's weird. I didn't think we'd have brood up here. If we do, more nectar. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot more bees up here. Interesting. Well, we'll see how it plays out here. With that uh, syrup in there. I should take it right down on it. When you put it inside the hive, they treat it like this spilt honey, you know. They, they'll take it. Or sometimes, you know, like a bucket feeder, it won't take it. You know, if there's a 
lower. Anyway, I have a lot of stuff to do today, so I think we're going to cut this video short and uh, move along a little faster here. So, thanks for watching, guys. See you on the flip side.